Alrighty, so it is February and now I can work on my first clue for my mini puzzle mystery quilt from Cotton Cuts. So I have clue one here and I said before I just love the packaging for this. It's set up just like a mystery with our clue number, our operation, the contents, it's called evidence. I just, I love the whole presentation of this. So I have my pattern that was emailed to me and I have it all printed out. And so I'm going to open this envelope and we'll take a look at what all of our cuts look like. Oh my gosh, they are organized so beautifully. Look at them all. Oh my goodness. I love, they are so good at putting these things together. Okay, so I have all my cuts. Let me get them all out. And this is all grunge fabric. And then everything's going to go together. Like um, the lightest fabric is gonna have some um, pieces that we're going to sew together, the medium fabric and the darkest. And so on here, and this is why it's so important when you're doing any of their puzzle mystery quilts to keep um, your uh, paperwork that shows what fabric is labeled for you because we all are picking different fabric colors and everything. So I have fabric A, fabric B, C, and D. And then it tells me how many of each one I should have in cuts. And um, It'll show me what the layout will look like for each. So I'm going to flip to the next page. That'll tell me how to piece everything together. And then also note on them that it'll show you which direction to press them and everything. So that's important as well. So um, we're gonna first join triangle A and B together. And we're going to do this um, it looks like six times. So I'm gonna get those all ready. And what I'll do is I just lay them all together and I take them to the sewing machine to sew them. I'm going to grab like my mat. I have this that I can put them on so it kind of makes it easier to carry them over to the sewing machine because I'll just chain piece them all. And oh, let me make sure I'm putting them together, right sides together, because I just noticed that these were cut just like I would with everything folded. So I don't want to have to pull seams if I don't have to. So it's been a kind of a crazy week for me. Um, so I know I've mentioned before that I had, we just purchased a new house at the end of last year and I was doing laundry last week on Monday. I always do laundry on Mondays. Um, the kids usually do their laundry when they need to. Um, so this is just like me and my husband's laundry and then anything else that needs to get done like sheets and towels and stuff like that. Um, and so I was doing the laundry and then my husband noticed over on the wall near his office that some like moisture was building up on the wall in two different places. And um, so we just kind of were like, oh my goodness, it has to be something to that's going on with the um, with the washing machine, like plumbing and everything. And it was just, oh. Um, so let me see really quick because I have two more of these and I think all of them go together with the um, A's. So I just want to make sure. Oh, so later for selection B, I'm doing two more with those. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew them right away. So, so anyway, we, we had a plumber set to come out and then he ended up saying he couldn't come. And so we scheduled him for later. And then he said he couldn't come. <laughs> and it got all the way to Monday that he pushed it off and then he just didn't show up. And my husband had to call and find out what was up with that. Ugh. So it's a whole week of just not really being able to keep up with laundry if we had anything we wanted to do. Um, so it says repeat these steps for 
the fabric C and D. So I'm gonna put them together for those as well. So my husband called a different plumber and he was able to come out um, today, so next day, and actually showed up. And it turns out it was just um, like a lot of condensation on the exhaust pipe for our dryer. Um, and wasn't that big of a deal. They put some more insulation down around there because they just said that because it was kind of unseasonably cold. Um, the cold, the really cold air in the attic was just a lot colder than, you know, with the pipe putting out all that, that there was condensation. They didn't see any mold or anything like that. So that was good. And they didn't have to open up the wall, which we thought they were going to have to do to fix what was going on. So just kind of, you know, not a big deal, but it was just kind of frustrating. It's so frustrating when you have people scheduled to come out and they don't come because it's like, you know, you schedule stuff around that sort of thing. And then when they don't even call to let you know or give you that courtesy, it's just so frustrating. <sighs> kind of first world problems though, right? It's not that big of a deal, but it was just like, you never think of how much you rely on that kind of stuff, like just being able to do the laundry whenever you want. All right, so that was the light, the medium fabric, the C. So the D, the darker one, I'm going to prep the same way, just putting them right side together to go over to the sewing machine and just sew along that side on all of them and get them done nice and quickly. And if you're doing the the So Sweet Puzzle Mystery, I think those are shipping out really soon as well. Hopefully, we kind of have a handle on the shipping of all these companies and stuff. So they kind of been kind of crazy, but um, it seems a little bit like it's starting to improve a little. So this one only had four, so I'm gonna make sure on that because I really didn't pay a whole bunch of attention. Yeah, so eight medium, eight light, and then four of the dark. Perfect. So I'm gonna take these over to the sewing machine and just sew a quarter inch seam along the diagonal on all of them. Okay, so now I have everything sewn, and so I'm going to start pressing these open. I did put a bit of um, starch on them just because I tend to distort uh, half square triangles when I assemble them this way, so I'm just going to try and do my best to avoid uh, doing that by putting some starch on it. and. I think I just pressed that one the wrong way because I I wasn't paying attention. So I'm pressing, I'm supposed to be pressing these to the dark side. <laughs> so let me fix this one. So I'm just going to go through and I try to not move the iron around too much um, when pressing half square triangles especially. And I try to use my fingers to press them open first so I don't get too tempted to use my iron to press them open. Kind of helps keep them in place a little bit more. But just kind of kind of busy work doing this part. Um, so since I kind of talked about something bummer that happened during the week, it was actually over the weekend my daughter's birthday. She turned 14. And we did kind of do a lot of fun stuff um, 
for that. Her best friend stayed over. We took them ice skating on Saturday and then out to dinner. They went shopping around the mall because that's where the ice skating um, ring is here. So they walked around there, went ice skating, we went to dinner. And then on Sunday we took them to breakfast and then I took them to get their nails done. And while we were there, I got a pedicure. I know it looks like my nails are done. I did not get them done there because they'll just get all messed up from what I do. <laughs> but I, um, I actually, one of my friends sells these red Aspen nails that are just kind of glue on. So since I got my toes done, I decided to put those on. I got them to try. They work pretty well. Um, they seem to pop off a lot since they are glued. You do glue them on. I do like though that you can uh, trim them down. I don't know enough about nail getting nails done and all that stuff. Maybe that is the norm with ones that you go get to just glue on, but I don't know. They work. Was kind of, it's kind of nice every now and then to have your nails look nice. Usually mine just get destroyed so easily. I need to charge my iron a little. While it charges a little, get some more heat back in it. I'm going to just get some of these pressed open for that. I just cannot believe that it was already February. That is just years fly by, it seems like. I remember when I was a kid, I thought that it took forever to get through a year. Now it's like you blink and the year's gone. It's funny how that works. Well, funny or sad, I guess in some ways it's good and then some ways it's not. So I can't believe I already have a 14 year old. Doing these this way seems to take a little bit longer but it works out better in the end i promise because usually i don't take the time to gently do all this but i do prefer the half square method where you have two squares and trim them <laughs> for me that seems to work a lot better because I'm not very accurate at sewing quarter inch seams and stuff and you can see it's a little off there on this one because I probably didn't sew very well. But I'm just going to make it work. I'm not going to uh, pull seams on that because I don't think it's big enough that it should matter that much or bother me. But if you see that it might mean that if you do want yours to be perfect, you may want to pull that and you might want to pull it, pull this uh, stitches and then line it up a little bit better. But for me, it's just kind of so be it. It'll just not be exactly perfect. And I'm okay with that. Not everybody is, and that's fine too. Oh, I took my board apart. Um, but for me, I'll be okay with it. So now we're going to move on to the next step. And I'm gonna do my light ones. We're going to have that way, it looks like, and that way. And it looks like we're making two of those. So we'll have two like that. So I'm gonna line them up two on top of each other. And then we're going to have two of these B squares together. 
and they're going to be lined up with two that are like this and it'll then be sewn together to make a block that looks like this and we'll have two of these blocks and the other ones that are left over here we have two more so they are going to be sewn on to block like this and I think it's kind of the same as the other here but just oriented different like how we're going to use it later so I'm going to put these on here to bring over to the sewing machine just so I can see how they are I am going to before I sew these together to I'm going to sew these two together and these two together and they do go together to make a block later but I'm going to press the seams before I do that just so you know so I'm going to go ahead and get these laid out as well these are going to have the same amount as the light the medium are so I'm just going to get those ready and then the dark ones will have one less Okay, so now that I have all these blocks pressed and I followed the pressing instructions where this block with the diagonal is pressed to the right and with the block on the bottom, it's pressed over to the solid square block. And we do this because we'll then be able to nest these seams together really nicely since they're pressed in opposite directions. So you can kind of just line it up there and you'll be able to feel that it's matched up too. And I just put a pin right there to hold it in place for stitching and it'll just help all that bulk that could potentially be there um, be minimized by pressing those seams in opposite directions. So I'm gonna bring all these together they are all pressed the same way and this will be the last stitches that we have to do on this project um, because these are finished the ones up here they are all done so we just have a few more to sew and we'll be done with clue one 
and this is going to be a quick project but I'm really excited to see how it turns out and I really already hope that they do this again because it's fun to have these smaller projects too because I love the big puzzle mystery quilts. I've only done one. I have two that I'm going to be doing this time around in two different sizes, the small and the large. Um, but you have to wait a long time to see when those are finished. And don't get me wrong, I love it. I love having a quick sew that I can do each month where I don't have to cut anything. Everything's cut for me. I just get to do it really quickly, but it takes a long time to find out how that project's gonna look. This one will only be a few days and I'll be able to see how it looks all finished. So I'm so excited about it. All right, I'm gonna go sew these, press them, and then we'll see what we have. Right. So I kind of finger press the seams down to this solid square there per the pattern. And so now I'm just going to add some heat to them just to keep it in place. And then that'll be pretty much it for this month. All of them look really good. This one kind of doesn't line up a little bit perfect there, but so be it. <laughs> I think it's going to be close enough and especially once I quilt everything and it gets washed for the first time you'll see that those little spots like that that aren't absolutely perfect you won't even be able to tell after all that but so that one lined up really nicely I think this one looks like it's pretty good too it's not as crisp as it's sister block there, but it is really good. And then we have the light. So a lot of these blocks are the exactly the exact same, just different amounts. So we have two of the light blocks. We have two of the light blocks two of the medium, just one in the dark. And then for the other layout, we have one dark. I should probably keep them together. Two of the medium like this and two of the light. So what I think I'm gonna do is stack these all together. And I think I'm gonna put them as long as they it and they do back in the envelope to just keep them all together when I go to put it together in a few days. So I think that'll be the best way to keep it all together and hopefully they won't get all mixed up with all the other ones. If I can work an envelope today that'll be a nice way to store it. So there we go. We finished our evidence. <laughs> we got all of our evidence sewn and we have clue one done. That was so much fun. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. And I'm going to, I think, email Cotton Cuts and let them know that there were a lot of people interested in something like this again. And if you want a heads up, if they do do it, do this again. Um, join my Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description uh, so that if they do announce another one and you aren't on their mailing list or don't check it right away, if you check social media a little bit more, I know I check social media a little bit more than my email. Um, I'll announce in there if it's open and have a link to it. So be sure to join so that you can um, get that notification if they do one of these, again, these smaller ones. Okay, you guys, let me know in the comments what you think. If you got this one, I know at least one of you in the comments before said you were doing this blue one, and I think somebody else was doing a, the pink, I think. Um, I may be mistaken, but if you want to see how this turns out and you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and then click that bell notification. It'll let you know when another video pops up so we can see this come together. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.